All right, so here we're starting on 10.2, um, and this time we're looking at measuring angles and arcs. Um, a lot of new vocabulary this time, so be very careful, okay? Um, the central angle is two sides, two parts of the radius that will meet um, at the center, so that'll give you the center angle. Um, arc is a distance along the circumference. Minor arc is less than um, 180 degrees, major arc more than 180 degrees, obviously the semicircle 180 degrees, um, semicircle. Um, congruent arcs are two arcs that are the same distance, adjacent arcs obviously next to each other and then the arc length is whatever the length of that section of the circumference that is being asked for. All right, so here's uh, the sum of the central angles. Well, think about it, it's all the way around the center of the circle. So obviously it must be 360 degrees and your three angles must equal 360. So if you look at example number one, um, you've been given that um, G, F and H is 130 and H, F and J is 90 degrees by the uh, notation. You've got to find X. Well, add together your 90 and 130 and subtract it away from 360, you're left with 140 degrees. So let's have a look at example one, question number one. Um, you know all the way around is 360, so X is going to equal the 360 degrees minus the sum of 130 degrees plus your 60 degrees. Okay, so X is going to be 170 degrees. All right, so here's the names of your arcs. Minor arc, and as you see, it's less than 180 degrees. A major arc is greater than 180 degrees, and a semicircle is obviously 180 degrees. In other words, it's got to encompass the diameter, which is AB. So here is an example two, you're classifying the arcs and finding the measure. Well, first of all, G, H. So this is this section here, it's going from G to H. So it's less than 180 degrees because it tells you it's 122. So it's a minor arc, 122 degrees. Now we go through, it's G, L, H. So G, L to H is this section from here to here. Okay, so obviously it's got to be greater than 180 degrees, so it's a major arc. Okay, um, and it all the way around is 360, and you know that from the minor arc previously it's 122, so if you subtract them from each other, you're left with 238. And then finally, GLJ, so GLJ, that's this sector here. All right, well, that's a semicircle, 180 degrees. Okay, so here's example two and question number three. We're going from I through H to J. So I through H to J is all of this. So we started at this point and go into J. All right, well, obviously it's greater than 180 degrees, so it's a major. That's the first part of the question that you need to answer. It's a major arc and then find its measure. Well, obviously the part we don't want by the definition is the fact that this is 90 degrees. So take the simple option, 360 degrees minus the 90 degrees will give you 270. So here's example number three, uh, real world example. Um, what is it that we want? It's talking about um, CSD, so CSD, which is softball. All right, what does it represent? Well, it's a minor arc for a start, and it's 18% of the whole thing. Okay, well, um, if you are okay to just put it straight into a decimal, it's 0 0.18 times 360. If not, 18% is, don't forget, is the same as 18 over 100 and then multiply it by 360 over 1. Whichever way is simplest for you is the way you need to go. All right, so here is example three, um, question number six. The first part A is find the arc AB. That's this guy here, that's 22%. All right, and 22% is gonna be 0 0.22, and you're gonna multiply that by your 360 degrees. 
okay and that will finish up with 79.2 so there's the a part what's b same thing bc is this part here well that's eight percent so that's going to be 0 0.08 times 360 degrees okay um, and this time that's 28.8 again showing all you're working at and then finally C describe the type of arc that category great food represents well great food is 50 percent 56 percent that's greater than 50 so that's got to be a major arc all right keep it simple so here's example four, and this is finding arc addition, all right, or finding the measure of arc. So AED, AED is this section from here to here, while AE is 63, as they've got here, and ED is a right angle, so that's 90, so it's 153 degrees in total, all right? So it's basically some adding or occasionally some subtracting. And now looking at example four, and this is question number seven, STP, so that's this arc here from here to here. Okay, what do we know? Well, we know that the arc ST is 75 degrees. Okay, and we're going to add on to that the arc of TP, which is 72, that's 147 degrees. A little bit of working, showing the working, all right, make sure you show everything that you need to do. Okay, so this is finding the arc length. Well, look at what you've got here and looking at the equation part. 2 pi r is the circumference of the circle. In other words, all the way around. All right. Whatever x is over 360, that is going to give you the proportion of whatever angle, or, well, whatever segment L is. So it's the, it's the sector ratio multiplied by the circumference. And as you can see, here's example number five. All right, round to the nearest hundredth. So again, make sure that you read the question. All right, your two pi r, that's the circumference of the circle. X over 360 is the fraction of the circle that you want. Well, if you have a look at the diagram that you've given you, for a start, X is 75 degrees, and your radius is four, so two times four is eight, eight times pi, Multiplied by 75 over 360 will give you approximately 5.24. Two decimal places, nearest hundredth. Okay, so example five, and we're now doing question 10. We need to find the segment JK, that's this bit, the arc length. Well, first of all, you've got your fraction, which is going to be your degrees over 360. So that's going to be 30 over 360. Okay, and you're going to multiply that by 2 pi r. Well, you know that the radius is 2, so it's going to be 4 pi times 30 over 360. And eventually you will come up with an answer of 1.05. Okay, um, it's to the nearest hundredth and it's feet, so your answer should be feet also.